If Canadians are going to believe this leader of the opposition, he needs to come clean with who is funding his organization. Sure getting desperate if he has to blame Conservative campaign workers for the fact that he raised food prices, especially when, Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister's new marketing director, Max Veliket, did marketing for Loblaws for four years. Don Guy, Don Guy, the Prime Minister's chief pollster, works for GT and Co., which collects checks from Loblaws. As does Dan Arnold, his other pollster, getting checks from Loblaws. Are they the ones that forced him to quadruple the carbon tax? Uh, they're playing games, Mr. Speaker. We are focused on affordability for Canadians. They're focused on picking fights. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. Well, when the Prime Minister found out of the closing of the main famous deli, he tweeted, ouch. But his ouch was not for the 35-year-long employee who lost his job. His ouch was that he's not going to be able to eat his favorite sandwich anymore. We found out from a loyal customer that the reason why the main closed is because food prices have skyrocketed under this Prime Minister. He's determined now to increase his carbon tax threefold, which will send food prices flying higher. Why doesn't he park his plane, cancel the hypocrisy, and axe the tax? Why don't we focus on things we can actually do, like getting tough with organized crime and anti-money laundering? The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. To mandatory minimums for car auto theft. And furthermore, the minister claimed that he brought in bail reform that would stop auto theft, only that their bail reform doesn't apply to auto theft. So he's got to read his own law before trumpeting it in the parliament. Mr. Speaker, they've given us a 300% increase in auto theft in Toronto, a 300% increase in auto claims this year alone. That is their record. We have a common sense plan to stop